The baptism of Jesus also teaches us many spiritual lessons. And when Jesus was baptized, there we have a Trinitarian theophany. That is to say, a manifestation of God in His triune being. That we believe that there is one God in three persons, equal but distinct. The Father is the first person of the Trinity. The Son is the second person of the Blessed Trinity. And the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Blessed Trinity. There at the Jordan River, we have a nice contemplative summary of this most profound mystery of the Catholic faith. We hear the voice of the Father, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. We see the second person, Jesus Christ himself, descending into the water. And finally, we see the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove descending on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This vision of the Trinity can be applied to your life and to my life. We're all called at times to renew our baptismal vows. This could even be done when we're contemplating this wonderful mystery that we, by being baptized, we became sons to God the Father, brothers or sisters to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And finally, we become temples of the Holy Spirit. And that's why we say, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.